I think it's wild. So did, did Mike Sharp, <laughs> did he smart you up a little bit before you went in? Not there, really. Or? Mike, yeah. Mike's training was more, you know, Mike would spend, I don't know if Rip knows all the stories from Portland. And all. Yeah, he does. But Mike was an eccentric guy, man. Uh, I owe a lot to Mike. He treated me great. He was awesome. But Mike didn't get in the ring every night. And every now and then when you saw him putting the oil on and warming up, he would warm up for like an hour. He was doing like P90X and a, a calisthenic exercises for like two hours before he'd come in the ring and do stuff. And then at the night, because our training was like 6 30, 7 o'clock at night. So I would work all day at Wendy's till like 3 o'clock, leave, <laughs> go to college for two or three hours, five days a week get out of college and go to Mike Sharp's three nights a week till 11 o'clock at night. So wow. we would leave training at 11. We'd come back like an hour or so later after eating at Denny's or something. He, Mike would be in the school by himself working out like with his gear on and stuff. It was crazy. Like the stories of Mike are legendary. Rip, you get a lot of laughs over there. You got to give us some Mike start, uh, Sharp stories. Rip really knows. Yeah. Well, we did something. We was ribbing him. We was ribbing him one time. Like we left him and was going to, and we come back an hour later and he was still in the shower singing. Yeah. And he had he had so much soap on him and whatever. I said, you can't rib him. He's ribbing you, you marks. <laughs> he lived, uh, he got locked in buildings several times yeah. and everybody, the arena left, all the building, everybody left. And he was the last one in it, like stuff like that. But uh, Mike didn't t t sit down with the whole lot of the intricacies and first, all that kind of stuff. I remember one of the times I was in the ring with Mike wrestling and he bat me in the ropes and, uh, it was like an angle on one of his shows because I was the big heel on the show. I was a heavyweight champion, and Mike did an impromptu run in. I'll never forget. He backs me in the ropes, and he and he goes to break up, and he goes one two, like that. And I just look at him and go three, three four. four, and he goes boom, and he like knocked the shit at me. He's like, oh my god, I didn't know what he meant. But like the first time I ever heard the Office, the Iggy, all that kind of stuff was from Mike. But we did not sit down and do skull sessions, any of that like deep psychology stuff. Mike was a brawler uh enhancement guy like it was not next level thinking it was the bare basics and yeah. then everything over my you know third i've been affiliated with this now for 30 years i just picked up from all the different minds along the way but mike gave me my start yeah big gold and a bill fold so swole that i can't get the shit closed so i money fold and rubber band wrap and when it pop bitches sound like a hand clap